loop components are now available in channels. Let's see how to use them correctly. As you know, loop components have been available in Teams, but only in chat and meetings. You should be using loop components to keep track of agenda, notes, and tasks during all meetings. Here is a video giving you all the details. Have a look. For short term teamwork, we use meetings and chat. Whereas for long term teamwork, we use Teams channels. Here I already have created a team with three people in it. We have just one channel right now called General. Under the Posts area, I click on the New Post button and there you will see Insert Loop Component button. All the components which are available in chat are now available here as well. For example, I just added a table. Once I send it, the table is editable by all the team members. So here is the salesperson editing data in this table. The next thing to look at is meetings inside channels. The meeting inside channel can be an ad hoc meeting or it can be a periodic or recurring meeting. I am going to create a demo recurring meeting which is going to happen every day for the next three days. When I join channel meeting, I do not see the notes button. But I do see a chat button. And in that chat, I do have all the loop components. So I am going to add a loop component called task. And I am going to assign a task to salesperson. Let's assume this meeting is finished. So whatever was visible in the meeting chat is visible in the channel itself. The next step is to simulate that, okay, I am going to attend the next recurrence of the meeting. So when I join there, the previous task list is still visible to me, which is great because during recurring meetings, one of the common problems we have, what was decided has it been done and that becomes so easy to manage. So I'm going to add one more task and give it to salesperson during this meeting. As a person who attended meetings, how do I know what are my tasks across meetings? Now let's log in as sales, go to Outlook or the To Do app and there under Assign to Me, I will be able to see all the tasks given to me across all meetings. Whether those meetings happened in calendar or channel does not matter. The Shared Meeting Notes button, which is currently missing, will be coming soon. That's February 2024 as per Microsoft's roadmap. I am sure you have understood how to use loop components effectively in channels. The action item is to start using it immediately with existing teams and teach it to people around you. And the best way to do that is to share this video with them. Also have a look at the playlist of loop videos I have already created. So that's it for now. See you next time. Take care.